as an attacker, that's my job, take people on. Beat players one on one. Sometimes you only get one chance in the game to score. Our whole careers kind of helps us in those moments. You are at your best and you're able to finish these opportunities off. Is this the chance? Payne Central puts it away. What a goal for New Zealand. Uh, we've got, we're doing a little HelloFresh number. Chicken and honey roasted veggie couscous. Um, yeah, we, we pretty much have HelloFresh for dinner every night. But we're out for dinner tonight, so that's why I have a lunch. Which is nice. It's been amazing to play for Phoenix. It's been really nice to come back home. A lot of people spend so much time overseas away from their friends and family, so it's amazing to be able to come back and connect with everyone again. This World Cup is a huge motivation for me to be able to be in a squad that plays at a home World Cup in front of friends and family is huge. Yeah, I signed my first professional contract in 2019. I headed to Germany and played for SC Sand. Yeah, it was pretty crazy to go to Germany for my first one, but it was an amazing opportunity. I learned a lot. And then after that, I've played in A-League now for a few years, playing for Canberra United, Sydney FC, and now the Wellington Phoenix. I think the women's game has been growing, so this was just the perfect step that it needed to take to grow it even further. It's an amazing development tool for young girls who are trying to make that step between kind of playing in New Zealand and then wanting to head to Europe and things as well. But at the same time, it's such a quality team and we play in such a good league. It's amazing that we can now have that for the women's game and potentially bring some of the firm girls home who haven't played in front of friends and family for a long time. So what's Paige like as a flatmate? Oh, oh she's, she's great. Super tidy. <laughs> very neat, very, very organised. Yeah. Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. <laughs> One of her habits that oh, yeah. we've worked on oh, is no. that she used to drink out of like six or seven different glasses a day and we'd just find them like littered around the house. <laughs> she's like, thinking hey, about them. One yeah. glass and now she's really close. toxic. Toxic trait. <laughs> now she's got a drink bottle. Now I have a drink bottle, so, so no more cups. <laughs> For that, she's perfect. <laughs> this is a dream to be playing football as your job and to make a living from it, so it's pretty cool, yeah, thinking back when I was younger to know that I'm here now is pretty amazing. This has to be your best strapping yet, Susie. Yeah, I'm feeling <laughs> I think for me, like, I've always loved playing football. I still love playing it to this day even though I've been playing for so long. It's definitely what I want to be doing with my career and with my life at the moment. Wires. <laughs> oh yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> I have to refrain from singing. Really? Otherwise this poor man will hear my oh, singing. Nice Where is he? <laughs> Paige is really a dynamic player. She has a lot of pace. She can wriggle, she can dribble, uh, she takes players on, she can shoot, she can cross. There aren't many like that in the women's game, so um, yeah, we're lucky to, to have Paige with us. I love just pushing myself. Every day getting up, trying to be better than the day before. I think if I didn't enjoy doing what I did every day, it would be super hard to continue doing this for all these years. Having Paige with us this season has added so much experience. Having a Fern in, she has experienced different leagues, she's experienced World Cups. Press, press, press! Go in, go in! Hard, 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 hard. That kind of knowledge she brings is quite invaluable for such a young team. She is really, really looked up to because of I suppose the journey that she's had through football, because it shows that um, not only is there a pathway into the ferns, but we can also have ferns in the environment to ensure that the gap between us and them um, isn't too big.
heading into game day, I'm fully focused and my mind's just on the game. My mindset, I'm quite like a determined player, so I'm just trying to do my role. You do need to shut off the external distractions as well because I think that's a big thing for me to kind of just focus on what I have to do, what's my job in that moment. The Phoenix chasing back-to-back -back wins for the first time in their history and they get proceedings underway here at Sky Stadium. Satchel looks for uh, open space and uh, plays a, a heavy pass. Uh, too much pace on that for Clegg. Lana Murphy entrusted with free kick duties and gets it over the wall and into the back of the net. The perfect start for Melbourne victory. As an attacker, that's my job, take people on. Satchel strides away. Look at the pace from Satchel over the halfway line goes past another defender. That can lift a team. Come on, get on my back, says Paige. Sometimes you do miss those one opportunity in the game for the team and it can be devastating. Satchel gets away, goodbye. Paige Satchel away, over halfway. Needs support now. Tatham comes back. Satchel goes around Morris. Shouldered off the ball, play on. But you have to quickly pick yourself up and keep going. You do have to kind of be resilient in these moments because it's not always going to come off. I think the training during the week and what we've been doing our whole careers kind of helps us in those moments to try and stay calm and composed so that when these one-off opportunities come in the game, you can finish these opportunities off. Here's to the shoot! Oh my goodness, what a goal! You cannot stop Melina Ayres at the moment. I've been an attacker my whole life and I've definitely faced the highs and lows of being in this role. It's amazing when you find the back of the net that I don't think there's any other feeling kind of quite like it. Still there, Dumond outside the area. Pritchard, they're back in the game! The Wellington Phoenix are not done. And out off the line, scrambling, Pritchard, Pritchard, they've got it! They've equalised! The Wellington Phoenix! Drama right down to the final seconds. They are delighted and they should be. It is the Wellington Phoenix 2, Melbourne Victory 2. This World Cup is a huge motivation. It's definitely a driving force for me at the moment to make that team and make it on the field and play in front of that home crowd. This has been our conversation within the Ferns for quite some time now. We definitely have these set goals for what we want out of this World Cup. We want to win games, we want to make it out of the group. It's never been done before and I think a home World Cup is the perfect opportunity to do this. It's super competitive. So everyone is gunning for their spot in the squad at the moment and for their place in the starting 11. Every time I go away with the Ferns, it's, you just take it to a whole other level because everyone is fighting for those places. For a long time now, I want to be starting at this World Cup. I want to be playing, make the environment as competitive and performance-based as possible. It's amazing to be able to play for New Zealand. I think it's been a dream of mine since I was younger, I used to watch the football ferns on the TV and it's really hard to explain, I guess, how you kind of feel when you walk out onto the field and when you're hearing the national anthem go and you know 
that you've worked so hard to get to this point. You're making your family and you're making your country proud. It's an unreal experience and I think it's something I will never take for granted. I think there's nothing quite like it. I mean, playing for club and everything is an amazing opportunity to be a professional footballer. But I think for me, the ultimate is playing for your country and playing for everyone around you, making them proud.